Welcome to Steamworks. I'm Tim. This is Tim's Top Tool Tips. Here we have a commercially available pin drill or counter bore. Available in various sizes but generally two flute and made from high speed steel. They are used to cut a larger step in a pre-drilled hole. They can be expensive and the sizes are limited. Fortunately these are quite easy to make in the home workshop. My application requires a 3 8 counter bore for a 3 16 hole. A length of silver steel or drill rod is mounted in the collar chuck. The end is phased to give a good finish. I use high speed steel tooling with zero top rake. The end is then centred, drilled and reamed to take the size of pin for my particular application. This is 3 16 The final skim from centre out removes all the burrs. As this face forms the cutting edge, I'm going to further polish it using some oiled abrasive paper. A quick method of indexing is to use a square collet block such as this. Mounted in the mill the edges are found and the DTI zeroed. An end mill is used to cut the flutes. This needs to be a size larger than the actual diameter of the tool that you're making. In this case, 3 8 tooling, half inch head mill. The cutter is positioned so that the machine material away to leave a tooth behind. The cutter is positioned 20 thou from the edge of the tool and another 20 thou from the centre line to the edge of the cutter. This will give a cutting tooth of around about 3 30 seconds wide. The cut is plunged to half the diameter of the embryo tool. It can be a little bit over, but not under. Because the tool is guided by a pin, it will always cut the same diameter, regardless of where the cutting edge is along its axis. The collet is turned through 90 degrees, cutting the next tooth at the same settings, etc, etc. All teeth cut, the centre is reamed again to remove the swarf. The relief angle is filed for each tooth. The actual angle is not critical, we're removing about half the available material. Care needs to be taken not to catch the cutting edge. All done. Now the tool shape is complete, we can harden it. The tool is steadily heated up to a cherry red. The molecular changes take some time to achieve, so there's no rush in this bit. The rule of thumb for heat treatment is one hour per inch thickness of material. That means our 3 8 diameter material should take 20 minutes. However, the cutting edge is only about 3 64ths, 
So two to three minutes would suffice. Obviously I've shortened this clip. I'm sorry this is a bit fuzzy, but the camera is trying to focus on the gas flame. After quenching in cold water, the tool is cleaned up using oiled abrasive paper. Getting a bright finish helps with seeing the tempering colours. Back to the heat and the tool is tempered to a dark straw. The guide pin is cut, faced, has one edge rounded over and then is loctited into place. Loctite is good up to about 150 degrees. If we get any hotter than that, we're going to destroy the tool anyway. So plenty of cut and oil in use. That's it, tool made. So, does it cut? Well, yeah, very nicely, thank you.